So what is actually happening right now with Bitcoin price action and also with Ethereum because Ether does looks like it is breaking out of this decent important wage. We are going to come back and talk about this Ether scenario but let me first show you and give you some example what could be also playing out for Bitcoin price action right now. And guys, guys, I would also really appreciate if you could just take two seconds of your time and smash the like button. And for those individuals watching this video for the first time, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell because I'm sure you are not going to regret this. And now, if you look at this price structure using this ascending channel for bitcoin in a daily time frame you can see since the price of bitcoin has clearly broken out of this upper line of this ascending channel that has acted as a very very strong resistance in the past bitcoin price action now since we are clearly above it why i believe that there could be another impulsive move waiting us ahead because if you look at this unbalanced volume here to the downside whenever we broke the previous high structure you can see after that an impulsive move followed here you can see that very clearly here in on balance volume and also the price structure whenever we broke the previous high structure impulsive move we broke the previous high structure after that impulsive move occurred on price action of bitcoin and now since the on balance volume the previous high structure has also been broken what it is flashing is another impulsive move could be waiting us ahead because this is exactly you can see why i was saying that hey now since this on balance volume is also flashing that there could be another impulsive move for bitcoin waiting us that's why i'm also expecting more like a move here in an upper duration for ether any sort of a pullback the same line which previously acted as a resistance the upper line of this ascending channel could be acting as a support and then we could still see another move here in this manner and if this is going to continue then our price target is going to be around Fibonacci extension level, the 100% Fibonacci extension level I showed you on my yesterday's video. If you take this Fibonacci extension level, you can see here. So this 100% Fibonacci extension level is showing us that, hey, that could be around 53,000 price level. You can see this 100% Fibonacci extension level is where we could be getting gravitated first. And the next possible target is going to be the CPR, the Central Pivot Range Indicator Target Label, the Air 3 line. This green line is around 55,000 price level. So now we are getting two price targets here in an upper duration. One here with this Fibonacci extension label, and that's going to be around 53,000, 100% Fibonacci extension label. And the next one is going to be the Air 3 line from this CPR. Let me delete this Fibonacci extension line. You can see now, right? So this here, this green line is where we could be getting gravitated and that's around 55,000 price level because this CPR line is very, very accurate to be honest. And any sort of a pullback, right? Any sort of a price pullback, you can see if this upper line is not going to act as a support, then we know we could also see this fake out type of scenario, right? And then this 47,800 or 48,000 also going to be a very, very strong supportive line. And then again, I believe the trend here is going to continue more likely in an upper duration and this is exactly what we talked also on my yesterday video and the price so far is doing pretty similar and also if you look at this rsi here rsi is also over 50 level and this is a very good sign because i always say that rsi over 50 level is showing that the strength is there to continue further in an upper duration because this rsi is a momentum indicator so now if you look at this wycops reacting phase we also talked about this scenario yesterday on my video but right now you can see the trend here is also showing an impulsive move because according to this wycop after breaking the resistance line here there are going to be some impulsive move following the shakeout type of scenario and this could be also playing out and we should take that into consideration right i mean a shakeout or pullback again then a move here in this manner because i said to you any sort of a pullback this 47,800 to 48,000 is going to be the very very strong support line this is going to be around this 0.786 fibonacci exchange level so if that's going to happen then we know this upper line or this rising trend line which previously acted as a very very strong support not just only showing us the possible trend direction this could again act as a support in case we are going to see any sort of a pullback but the outcome here you can see is clearly flashing a move here in an upper direction because this year was the impulsive move this is consolidation phase right or sideway market and again another impulsive move and this is exactly what the price of bitcoin is also doing right now and let me also show you in a smaller time frame what could be unfolding right now for bitcoin and also femex right now is giving away a 680 dollar bonus to those individuals who sign up using my ref link down below so we only have six more days to claim this free bonuses so why not to grab this opportunity so now if you look at this here in a four hour time frame what i'm actually going to do guys i'm going to add this trend line here just to show you what is price of bitcoin doing right now because if you monitor this price for me using this trend line here right this is clearly flashing us that hey now you can see this here is a higher highs higher lows continuation pattern 
right? You can see this is a higher highs, higher lows continuation pattern. So even if we are going to see any sort of a pullback, you know, now this trend line here could be again making a higher lows. And this is still going to be a continuation pattern in this manner. So that's why I was saying like, even if we are going to see any sort of a pullback around this 48,800, 49,000 price level, there is a very, very strong support. And that is still making a higher highs, higher lows continuation pattern. And if you want to say, hey, we are going to look at this price structure a bit differently, then what we can also do is we can add this ascending type of scenario because ascending channel here is also clearly showing any sort of a pullback. The lower line here could be acting as a support and we could still see a move here in an upper duration and if you say hey i want to add this bigger ascending channel you can also do that because you can see inside this bigger ascending channel we are forming this another smaller ascending channel that could be seen here right so this is a very good sign because now you can see we are seeing some sort of a rejection because there is an upper line area of this both the smaller ascending channel and also the bigger ascending channel so any sort of a rejection that could be seen as a move here in this manner and if you are going to see any sort of a pullback also we can see again another support is lying there and this is still an higher lows anyway doesn't matter how you look at this this is still flashing a higher highs higher lows continuation pattern which is flashing us a potential move here in an upper duration is going to continue so these are some of the scenario i see right now looking at the price action of bitcoin so now let's look at ethereum price action so if we look at this ether price action starting in a daily time frame what i'm actually going to do guys i'm going to add this fibonacci extension level because these fibonacci extension lines are playing a very very important role in price action of ether because right now if you look at this this 100 fibonacci extension level around 1720 this price acted as a very very strong support but before it acted as support it acted as a resistance you can see and right now if this trend is going to continue further then you know our next possible target is going to be this 1.618 Fibonacci extension line and that is going to be around 2200 price level right now ether is making new highs and we knew we did also talked about this scenario here that price movement could be making a move here in this manner and i said you yesterday this could be a ascending broadening wedge and according to this ascending broadening wedge we were expecting move here in this manner and this is exactly what we are witnessing so this upper line of this ascending broadening wedge could be again acting as some resistance so we are going to be expecting a move here in this manner for ether usd in a daily time frame because any sort of a pullback we know this 1720 is going to be there which is a very very strong support and also this lower line of this ascending broadening which is going to act as a support and now if you look at this in a bit different way in a smaller time frame we can also see this here if you have watched my video from yesterday i told you guys that if you want to monitor only at this price area what could be unfolding here in four hour time frame was this ascending channel and where we could be getting gravitated i told you very loud and clear that this price level here to the upside this upper line of this ascending channel could be pulling the price and look at this after breaking out of these different scenarios i gave you one here was this double bottom scenario i said you this could play out as a very nice double bottom because you can see here after breaking the neckline of 1820 this is going to be an impulsive move here in an upper duration we are breaking out and i said you hey if you don't want to look at this as a double bottom then this could also be playing out as a descending broadening wedge and after this descending broadening wedge if you calculate the length here guys you will see that this price movement this breakout here is also flashing a exact price target here in an upper division towards this upper line of this 1950 to 1960 and this is exactly where we are also heading just like here you can see the breakout saw some consolidation but price came to the end target here as well descending broadening wedge breakout price out of consolidation but it came to the end target with some consolidation so now even if we are going to see any sort of a consolidation i'm still expecting price of ether to continue further in an upper duration it doesn't matter how you look at this because in a bigger time frame the price of ether is actually flashing a very very bullish scenario and i'm saying you this since months and months now guys so you have to understand this breaking the previous temporary resistance line is a buying opportunity and this has just started so this is also showing us that for ether the upcoming days or upcoming month could be very very bullish because this here is flashing another impulsive move coming ahead and if you look at this ether bitcoin this is showing even more interesting scenario for ether is because you can see exactly yesterday when we were seeing some sort of a fake out 
because according to this async broad language this fake out was there on our list here you can see we had a fake out and now since the eighth is pumping exactly at this point e area this train line here red line which is acting as a support just like as shown in the example this eighth of bitcoin chart so according to this eighth of bitcoin chart now any sort of a consolidation or even a pullback we know that the upcoming days for eta looks very very bullish so that's why right now eta price in the upcoming months could also turn completely parabolic and these are some of the scenarios that actually also support my analysis so guys these are some of the example i thought sharing with you in today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case then hit the like button also for those individuals watching this for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anoop bye bye guys